How are you doing folks? Joe Value here for Cold Bear Sports on Sunday evening with just one selection for tomorrow. Uh, qu quite nicely priced selection as well I think. Uh, plenty of value in the in the price. But uh, just before I get on to him, no selection today. Um, wasn't too mad about anything to be honest with you. Uh, but uh, Saturday went okay I suppose. Five selections, four of them were placed. And um, you know Minzal was placed at 16 to 1 there which was grand. And then you had be good to yourself who I put up as a solid each way he was placed as well uh, the only disappointing one I suppose of the five selections was Rose is a Rose is a Rose who didn't I don't know whether she just didn't uh, have the finishing kick that she usually might but uh, you know all the selections ran quite well I was happy enough with, with the, day, the, the way the day went um, but what was I going to say to you um, yeah so just the one for tomorrow then and it's in the 2.30 in Plumpton a horse by the name of Ravens Tower He's priced up at eight to one. Luca Morgan taking off the five here, uh, for Ben Pauline. I've been waiting for this horse to be switched back to two and a half mile for quite some time. They've been running him over three miles, and he just hasn't been seen it out. He never really did anyway, to be honest with you. He's more a two mile, uh, two and a half mile horse on really quick ground, which he's going to get tomorrow. Left handed track, Plumpton. You know you have to jump fluidly in in Plumpton. Them fences can come up quite quickly. Especially the first fence, as you turn away down the back straight, it's right on top of them there before they know what's going on. And I can just see this lad traveling really, really strong in behind the leaders. And hopefully he'll come there with his challenge, you know, in between the last two fences. And, uh, you know, if he's ever going to get back to winning ways, I think tomorrow is a big, big opportunity. Uh, he's the horse that, you know, he's not getting any younger, to be fair. Uh, this was probably go probably going to be one of his last seasons, but uh, he has some won now in quite some while. But the handicapper has relented, and uh, I just think he's a he's a big chance tomorrow. The the favourite Chapati has been in very good form, but he also has a habit of jumping out to the right, which around Plumpton is not ideal. Uh, if he does that, um, you know tomorrow he's going to open the door for some of the rest of them. Uh, the the likes of the second favourite there. Uh, Sambuca School, uh, he's only four to one, which is half the price, obviously, of Ravens Tower. It's his first time over fences, and you just don't know how he's going to take to it. He could jump brilliantly, but uh, you know, in a race like this, I would think uh, he'd have to be fairly spot on, uh, even though he is probably well weighted. Uh, there's a big gamble on one of the horses down the bottom there that you'd have to respect also. But if you went through his form, it looks absolutely horrific. So. Um, all in all, I was happy with eight to one about Ravens Tower. I think uh, that's a lovely price. He's not the type of horse. I don't think that there's going to be a huge gamble on or anything like that. But uh, you know, uh, as I say, eight to one is plenty fair enough for me. So I'm going to put him up as a two point each way selection. Just the one selection for tomorrow. So that's Ravens Tower, the two thirty of Plumpton. Best luck if you're following. Hope you are following the channel because uh, the Mad Professor Merrigan is. On fire, like you know, another winner today, making the game look uh, very, very easy. Which, of course, we all know it's not, but uh, we do try our best. And uh, if you don't mind, give us the like, the likes there, and um, you know, spread the word, as Paddy was saying in his video there, because it does help the channel. Uh, you subscribe and and like like the old videos because uh, you know it helps helps us out and keeps us on our toes, you know. So thanks very much for listening and I shall talk to you tomorrow with hopefully one or two more winners. All the best, Joe Value for Cold Beer Sports on YouTube.